Well, 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 look who's on my turf this morning. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. It really is. It's so happy. So we're about to head into Old Thrifty Pants and see what kind of goodies they got. We're going to be hitting up two Thrift Giants, two Goody Wheels, and a Thrift Shitter, baby. And uh, we're going to see if we can score some vintage toys today. If you're new to the channel, that's what I do. I hunt for vintage toys in thrift stores. And sometimes I buy modern toys while I'm in there because they're really cool and I can't pass them up. So, but we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray to the vintage thrift store gods, that, that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today and we can walk out of today's episode with some epic jazz worthy scores. Let's see what they got. Well, 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 look who's on my turf this morning. <laughs> what you doing, man? Doing all right? I better not come in here and see if I can get a start on you. <laughs> you almost got the drop on me. I raised you to it. Right? Just <laughs> My mother-in-law is looking for a laptop. Wow, they went a hundred bucks for that. Damn. That's full price today. I know, right? <laughs> Downloaded the VIP cards. What do you got there, Black man? Oh, yeah, look at that. It actually makes noise. This is good, too. How much are they asking for? Like $2. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah for, for this place, definitely right. good. And we got some. These guys have been here all yeah. week, pretty much. You know, this should hit this that one there. Oh, yeah, I saw one at uh, there's a place in Plano called the Thrift Store. Yeah. And he actually talked. It was a really cool one. This was probably supposed to. It just no batteries. Work. Batteries not working. Right. And we got the Jaws guy. These things are cool. The question is, it's worth it. Oh yeah. See. Four ninety nine. There we go. Yeah. People are like, look at these two weirdos right. in, the, in the kids' aisle. <laughs> All right, man, looking looking kind of weak overall, man. Here's a uh, Rescue Rangers, or not Rescue Rangers, uh, Rescue Heroes, like some sort of ATV. Fight never happened. <laughs> oh, it's not working. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, man, they got all kinds of weaponry here today. Oh, check out these. Lone Star Park. Oh, we got quite a few of these uh, lions over here. Here's a tiger. That one's kind of cool. Well, guys, we got busted but the good news is carson 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 he's always invading my territory but carson is still in thrift giant and we're off to the goody wheel so we're about to get the drop on him over there now hopefully when he leaves here he'll head over to round grove road and then we'll be already making our way over to thrift shitty but uh he may if he's smart which i know he isn't He's not smart, but, <laughs> but what we're gonna do, hopefully, if, it, or if he is smart, he'll go to Thrift Shitty knowing that I went to Round Grove. So I know he watches my videos and he knows my typical strategy. So part of me is kind of like, well, do I just head to Thrift Shitty right now and leave Round Grove Road? But he hasn't been to Round Grove. So that Round Grove Goodwill. So. Let's head over there and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Man, between uh, Carson, Carson, and Hendrix, that Hendrix kid that got the Sega Genesis out of here, uh, man, all kinds of people are invading Burf's turf, man. It's gonna make it more hard, more difficult to find shit. But you know what? 
I'm a professional, man. I am the best vintage toy hunter in DFW. So these guys aren't really competition for me. You know what I mean? They're not competition. They can't compete with Burf. So let's head in here and let's get us some vintage toys. How's that sound? Let's do it. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got any, oh, look at this thing. Oh, look at that Sentinel one, man. Oh, it even has uh, one of the missiles in it. Yeah, that's pretty badass. I'm not gonna get it. I don't need it, but that is pretty cool. Let's see, anything over here? What's this thing? This plane has rocket power. Oh, it does? Hmm. Looks older, what's it called? Oh, it's a switch and go dyno. Okay. It's kind of neat. Well, check out this thing. Oh wow, look at this thing. We got some heavy artillery right here, boy. All right, anything else? Little army tank. Hmm, how about over here in Plushville? I don't see anything in the plushie section. All right, guys, busted. But that's okay, at least we got it. We got in and out and we could get over to Thrift Shitty before Carson gets there. I'm assuming he's still at Thrift Giant because we weren't in here very long. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang, we're here. We're here at the infamous Thrift City, home of the inglorious glass case. I don't know if Carson's here or not. There's a silver truck over there. He drives like a silver truck, but I don't know if that's his or not. Hopefully it's not because if he's in here already, means he's got the drop on us so let's keep our fingers crossed that there's still some goodness on the shelves for us all righty let's see what do we got got a paddington bear mlp looks like a rugrats hat oh yeah it is it's kind of stained up though nasty all right, let's see, what do we got on these shelves? Here's a bag. It's got like this uh, dragon in it. It kind of looks like it's made out of rock. What's this? A couple little vintage dolls. Hmm, well, this is kind of cool. Very cheaply made though, man. That is like super thin plastic. Just junk. Wow, look at this. This guy's still here. Nobody wants the tank. All right, anything down this way? Uh, we got this busted up Chinook helicopter. Crayola guy. Got a tank. I think it's cool that it makes sounds like that. What's this? Some sort of sparring glove. Here's a tank right here. But I ain't seeing nothing, guys. No vintage toys for us today. What's this? Oh, he's just a T-Rex. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All right, do we got anything in here? There's a Nimbus. Got some old digital cameras. And that's about it. Well, y'all. Busted again, man. Three in a row. Carson's bringing me bad luck today. <sighs> okay, so we got two more thrift shops to hit up. And if for some reason we don't score anything at Thrift Giant or the last Goody Wheel, we're gonna head up to Denton today, I think. Or maybe we'll head down towards Irving, towards Texas Thrift. I don't know, but if we don't score anything on these next two stops, we're definitely hitting up some more today. So I'll see you over at Old Thrifty Pants. 
<laughs> All right, I'm here. <laughs> Tried to get out of the car and the door jammed. Anyway, we're here. We're here at Texas, or not Texas, Thrift, Thrift Giant. Nancy Carson's got me all discombobulated this morning. I think that's part of his strategy. He knows I come here on Friday and then he showed up to like just fuck with me. You know what I mean? So, all right. <laughs> all right, change our pattern of thought, right? What we think about is what we bring about. We're gonna score something epic today because our innermost dominant thought becomes our outermost tangible reality. Let's see what they got. All right, let's see. What is over here? What's this? An old like play typewriter. It's kind of neat. What year is that from? Uh, 1990. Hmm. Kind of cool. $6 for that. Collegiate. The Collegiate 1000. Oh, it's actually like a real working typewriter, sort of. But I think it's for kids. I don't know. I'll think about that. It's kind of neat. All right. What do we got over here? Some naked dolls down there. Ah, we got this big guy. Oh, look. His, uh, his club is all like infested with termites or something. Other than him, I really don't see anything cool on these shelves. Besides him and this, I'm going to see if this is actually worth any money. All right, you know what, guys? I'm going to grab it. It's neat. It's vintage. It's from the 90s. I see people trying to sell it for like 70, 80 bucks, but I don't think any have actually been sold like in the last 90 days or so, but I think it's kind of cool. Make a nice display piece. Dang, check that thing out, man. If I were like into paddle boarding or something like that, Oh, they want uh, one, one sixty nine sixty one. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Maybe you paddle boarders that are watching can let me know. Is that a good deal for something like that? All right, so we got the Collegiate One Thousand typewriter. Let's jump in the car and do a quick show and tell. Well, here it is. And uh, the girl asked me. She's like, "Does it work?" I said, "Well, you know, I think if you put some ink and some paper in it." It might actually work. So, you know, like a new ink ribbon or whatever. But I got it. I told her, I'm like, I just collect vintage toys. And it's from the 90s. So I thought it was kind of cool. And she's like, it is cool. But this is it. There's not a whole lot to look at, really. But it, at least, hey, at least it functions. At least the keys are working. So the thing is, guys, this, is, uh, this does not count as a score for today. So, you know, I was like... Hey, if we don't score anything at the next two stops, I'm going to another place. We're still going to hit up some other places today because this just isn't enough. I'm on a mission to find something truly epic today. Truly jazz worthy. I need me a hit of vintage jazz. <laughs> All right, let's hit up the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang, we're here at the Goody Wheel and check this out. Normally, by the time I get here, it's almost 11 o'clock, but it's 9.53 a.m. right now. That's how fast we've been getting busted today. Boom, boom, boom. Just like nothing on the shelves. But we're here at the Goody Wheel, man. And uh, we're going to score something out of here. We are, I'm bound and determined. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Got to say it with authority. You know what I mean? Let's see what they got. All right, well, what do we got? A bunch of video games up here. And uh, the itty bitty book light. I don't know what that is. All right, well, there's some game controllers over there, but I'm not really seeing much. Hey, we got a big boy typewriter. Not that little kitty collegiate 1000 we just picked up. That's for the big boys. Okie dokie. Moment of truth. dinosaur and a red triceratops thingy <laughs> oh, here's a money ball isn't that uh, the name of a James Bond movie 
money ball. Yep, I think we're about to get busted here too. Well, this one was made in 2015. Let's see, any plush? Uh, that would be a big fat no. Well, that's a cool ass movie poster. Really, I only want 12 bucks for it. I don't got room for it though. I don't got any room to hang anything else on my walls. That's pretty neat. I like it <laughs> a lot, but I'm gonna leave it here. Dang guys, we got busted at literally every store. Well, I shouldn't say that with the grip giant, with the typewriter, you know? So we did score one thing today. <laughs> But gosh, man, just everything dry. Nothing on the shelves. Well, I think we're gonna head to Texas Thrift. I think that's where we're gonna, the big Texas Thrift. We're gonna head over there. There's those three thrift stores in a row. Thrift Giant, Goodwill, Texas Thrift. Who knows, we might even hit up Thrift World later. I don't know, we're on an adventure. We're on an adventure today, folks, and we are bound and determined to score something epic. I'll see you at Texas Thrift. All right, gang, we're here at Big Texas Thrift. I like saying it like that, don't you? Say it with me, Big Texas Thrift. All right, let's head in here and hopefully it's not picked over. And if the morning crowd did pick over some stuff, let's hope that they brought some new stuff out. I like that. Yeah, let's think that way. New stuff. <laughs> All right, let's see what they got. Alright, what's this thing? Oh, my desk clock. Oh, my Hero Academia. I'm gonna put it in the cart, we'll check on it. Well, it looks like all of these Top Hat Magic sets are still here from earlier this week. It doesn't look like anybody bought them. Hmm, what's this down here? Oh, this goes to like a... Oh, Mario play set. Oh, this guy's kind of cool, too. Oh, yeah. You can wind that up, I guess. Huh? Is that how that works? Oh, yeah. Let's wind him up. Let's get his fist going. All right. Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, I like it. Well, here's that tank we saw earlier this week. And our Gotham City Jail set. We see this all the time in thrift stores. Looks like we got some T-Rex stuff going on here. Let's see, anything in this aisle? Anything at all. Well, we got a couple of footballs here. Looks like a safe box. Remnants of a Batmobile. Let's see, is there a Batman in here? Oh, yes, there is. Look, we got a Batman in here. I think it's like a bendy fig, actually. Yeah, it is a bendy fig. That's cool. All right, let's see if we can find anything in Baggy Land. Hey, check it out. It's our boy Buzz. <laughs> We're always finding Buzz Light ears. It's a child. Looks like we got some dinos here. Some cheapy plastic ones. I thought that was Elmer Fudd for a second. Man, guys, I was looking through these bags. There really isn't anything at all in these bags worth getting. It's all just like junk. Wow. Busted again. Holy crap, we gotta end this losing streak at some point. All right, let's hit up the goodie wheel next. All right, we're here. We are here. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. Let's check it out. Well, there's a Star Wars Trilogy box set, $9.99. That was here earlier this week, and it's still here because it's overpriced. Let's see, do we got any goodness? that we can pull out of these bins. Oh, look at this thing. Aqua 
Operation Storm Force. That's kind of cool. Combat M1. Hmm. I was looking to see if there was like a year on it or something. All right, well, I think the M1 was a World War II issued gun, if I remember correctly, but this one makes sound. It's made by Busby Toys. I think I'm gonna get it. I'll check out this little Hot Wheels play set. That looks fun. Oh, we've got some thankful for family, some Thanksgiving peanuts plates. like we got some coke plates over here too you know one of the things i'm actually looking for is i'm looking for mcdonald's plates keep an eye out for those i'm hoping to maybe come across them at some point yeah, it's kind of a cool turtle shirt i don't know if that would fit me though <laughs> i uh take an extra large and that's just a large well you guessed it Busted again. I bet you didn't guess it though. You probably thought I was gonna get that M1. I thought I was gonna get it too. But I don't know, the more I thought about it, I'm like, it just looks cool and I was an impulse buy and I was like, nah, you gotta control yourself a little bit, burf. So I put it back on the shelf. The Snoopy plates, those were actually kind of decent. Like, but I saw like, if there was like an, an extra plate, there was four plates there. There was like an extra like really big plate with wood stock and a turkey on it so it made up it was like a like a five plate collection it sold recently for 42 dollars but they were also brand new still in the plastic wrap so i left those on the shelf too let's go hit up thrift giant and see if we can get a score out of there here we go here we go so when we're done here we're gonna go hit up saint Vinny de paul another thrift giants and possibly thrift world so i think this is going to turn into like a 10 or 11 thrift store friday so let's see what we can get in here oh but we got a couple of big boxes oh there's a spider-man up there oh, let's, oh, let's go around to the other side all right what do we got in here Hey, it's our boy Buzz. Oh, that Spider-Man's missing a hand. We got some MLP in here. Some football helmets. Yeah, this is like a big junk box. Yeah, there's nothing in here we want. What do we got here? A Connects, huh? Oh, uh, looks like it's like some sort of tabletop game that you build. Oh, we got a T-Rex here. Let's see, what are they asking for him? Oh, $2.99. Yeah, I think we'll grab him for three bucks. That should be worth it, right? He's got like multiple articulation here in his legs and his knees. Oh yeah. He's Looks like he's got like a running action or something like that. Here's a couple of Sonic cars. Looks like that these would be remote control, I think. I think. Now check that out. There's a Louise Belcher. She sells for about 35 bucks on eBay, but that's with the box in pretty decent condition. You can see that like this one here, the box is a little banged up. It's crinkled over there on the right. It's got a little a little fold there on the left, but they want $20 for her. That is crazy. Yeah, like, look at this. This Mr. Mime Pokemon Funko Pop. They want $12.91. You can buy him right now on eBay for $7 and like $5 shipping. So, yeah, these prices are ridiculous. I'm really surprised that this thing is only marked $2.99. All right, gang, we got us a Jurassic World. T-Rex, like a stomping or running T-Rex or something. Let's jump in the car and do some show and tell. All right, check this bad boy out. So he's got this little button right here that you push. Where did it go? Here it is. But then like also you can 
Let's see if I can get it to happen. I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand. You can twist his tail. You twist his tail back and forth and his legs lift up like he's running. So it's kind of cool. But uh, I don't know how much he's worth, but I only paid $2.99 for him. I'm sure I could probably get 15, 20 bucks out of him. So uh, I don't think I'm gonna keep him. I think I might just put him up on eBay for sale or I'm thinking even I'm thinking even about having another yard sale soon. So anyway, we scored a T-Rex. He's pretty cool. Off to St. Vinnie de Paul. All right, we are at St. Vinnie's. This place for the most part has been producing lately. So maybe we'll get something out of here. Maybe not, but we're gonna remain positive <laughs> that we actually score something big. I'm ready for some jazz. Comment below if you're ready for some vintage jazz. All right, let's see what we got here. saw this a few weeks ago. Oh, Peter Pan's still here. Well, here's a bin full of old hockey cards 1990 unfortunately i don't know much about hockey and if any of these are actually worth something oh there's wayne gretzky <laughs> i know gretzky what year is this from uh looks like 19 1990 all right guys another Bust. Oh my gosh. We haven't gotten anything really awesome or significant today. I mean, the T-Rex is like cool because I can resell it for a few bucks, you know, but mm, getting a little frustrated. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. Can we do this? Can we pull off a big win today? That's the question. That's the question. Can we pull off the epic score? I believe we can, I believe we can. Let's see what they got in here. Oh, there's a Sonic. Looks like they went five bucks for him. I'll consider that. All right, let's see. What's this? Shoots over 60 feet, wow. Oh, that's funny, that, like it's some sort of transformer. Oh my gosh, guys. Busted. Again. All right, I'm gonna try Thrift World. I'll see you over there. All right, this is it, guys. It's make it or break it. Thrift World, here I come. So, man, this has been a daunting adventure with little to no reward. So hopefully we can score something in here, man. Fingers crossed. Vintage thrift gods be good to me today. All right, let's see. What do we got in the baggies? Looks like we got maybe some vintage dinos in here. in a hand holy cow he's huge <laughs> it looks like we got a vader plush over here it's kind of wonky looking all right anything in this bag nope we've got a we got doc dwarfy doc and we got a bag of die cast but nothing really cool 
Holy cow, this Hot Wheels thing has been here for a while. This uh, Micro Machines, I think it's like an airplane, yeah. It's not vintage though, but I don't know, maybe I'll get it today. Oh, look at this, uh, I was gonna say Hulk. He's a uh, Frankenstein of sorts. I wonder what this is, some sort of tube. I guess that's supposed to be a mouse. Oh, we got some guys out of the bags. Got this little dirt bike looking dude or motorcycle racer. And then some sort of transformer, I guess. He's like a, like an Egyptian beetle. Hmm, looks like he might be missing some of his legs though or something like that. Maybe his back legs. Yeah, it turns out he's actually a McDonald's Beast Wars uh, Happy Meal toy. But he's definitely missing his legs. Must be a outdoor sportsman type of day. We saw that uh, paddle board earlier, and now we got this giant raft. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, I think I'm going to get this. This is a Matchbox aircraft carrier. I saw this here like a few weeks back. It's still here. And then this is a Micro Machines fire and rescue airplane. The only, it originally was, I think, $13. Yeah, so it was originally $12.31, $12.81. And they have it marked down to $6.99. So I'm going to go ahead and get it because the aircraft carrier alone, I think, resells for about 30 bucks. So let's grab it. Gosh, guys, I don't know. Part of me is like, I feel like I'm just buying something just so I don't have a big loss for the day, you know? It's kind of neat, but like, do I really need it? You know, I'd like to try and stick to vintage as much as possible. Mm. Oh, this isn't even a aircraft carrier, I don't think. Says, I think it's an airport, Hot Wheels air Airport, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I, actually, I stand corrected. It's not Hot Wheels. It's a Matchbox Airport playset. Well, I think I'm just going to leave it here. All right, guys, well, that's it. Man, I wish I had some more epic finds to show you today, but thanks for hanging out with me all through the end to the end here shows what a trooper you are and what a dedicated subscriber you are i feel bad that i wasn't able to give you more on this adventure but hey you know what i still had fun and i hope you had fun too a little frustrating but still fun hey if you're enjoying watching this content as much as i'm enjoying making it for you do me a favor smash the like button it helps me out it helps my channel grow it also it also if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more better adventures coming your way than this one. <laughs> Not to say that we won't like have one of these again, but one of the, hopefully, like they're few and far between that I don't score something. But I've got a ton of videos on the channel you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.